How's it going, all you guys and girls of the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loon Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD. JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. I'm Batman. Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames, but we won't get into that right now. I don't understand. Well, I mean, I do understand, but is that really the way it's got to be when it... Okay. Let me start at the beginning. I recently got my vehicle inspected. Um, the place that I've been dealing with has been having problems. Um, I guess, I don't know if it's different everywhere, but around here, to do a state inspection of a vehicle, you have to be, I guess it's certified or whatever. You have to have classes. You have to be trained to do it. The place I was going... Uh, got in trouble because they were having people do it that weren't trained. So a lot of people had to have their cars reinspected. Um, I didn't want any part of that because I'd already got stuck with that with my mother's vehicle. Anyway, I went to a Firestone place for inspection a couple of weeks ago. No problems, bing, bang, boom, in and out. Everything passed, everything's computerized. They can't just pass people. Uh, it's either going to pass or fail by the computer. In every one of these places, all over the state, they have cameras and everything could be looked at uh, anonymously by the state to make sure everything's on the up and up. But you cannot pass unless the computer passes it. That being said, this is just two weeks ago. Today, I went for an air conditioner problem to the same place, Firestone, um... And then all of a sudden they come out with this thing. Well, when we had it on the lift, we see that it needs this, it needs this, it needs this. You need new tires, an air filter, cabin air filter, fuel ejection cleaner. But... And I start saying to myself, really? I mean, considering two weeks ago I passed the inspection, so everything must be somewhat decent to pass inspection. Um, so my question is, do a lot of these places, because they only, of course, the old expression, they only make money if they tell you there's something wrong with your car. Do these places really say you need this when you don't? That's my question. Of course, a cabin air filter, I've done a video where I changed one of my mother's vehicle before. You can buy them for 10 or $12, put it in yourself. It takes literally two minutes to do yourself, and they want to charge me... $21 for the filter and another $23 for labor. That's just ridiculous for something like that. Um, but, I mean, Firestone, it's a tire place. Do they tell everyone that they need tires? I mean, most likely, that's how they make their money, right? So my question is, are they on the level when it comes to stuff like that, or do they tell people they need it just to make, uh, just to make money? What are your thoughts? What do you think? I'm off to the races. I love you all. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back. And before I get out of here, I just wanted to say a big thank you for coming over and watching. It really means a lot to me. If you liked the video you just saw, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It's 100% free. It'll help keep you up to date on all my videos and vlogs. And don't forget to ring that bell. Excuse me, I just have one more question here. Is this porridge made with non-GMO oats, or is this the regular kind? Thank you very much.